project management is life management how do you manage the project is all about how you manage your life if you can understand okay this is my way to manage the project you can actually manage the entire thing so let's look into that how basically project management is going to work for that by the way what do you think what is project put in the chat box what do you think is project put it in the chat box what is project put in the chat box what do you think is project task assignment zen saying assignment task shahid abbas is saying task okay not bad start and date has an end date it's a good point any goal that nerd that needs to be met with a start and end date temporary endeavor a proper definition temporary endeavor activity which has a specific start and end date okay any task with a specific time period task having start and end date specific goal okay plan to do something certain period okay okay so most of you are right the most important characteristic of the project is the project has a start date okay the project has a start date every project is a start date everything is a start date if something does not have a start date how can we know that and then it has a end date okay it has an end date for example life you are born we don't know but there is a date we die that's a start and end date of the project okay the important question here is that why projects are started my question to you is that why projects are started put in the chat box why do you think the projects are started loved it increase business value to achieve goals demand facilitate the requirement focus achieve goals what else achieve we are 50 people so i need 50 comments in the chat box increase business value grab opportunity add value finish the vn that's also uh, what the, what did uh, marine put uh, multiple reason meet compliance requirement yes yes all are right new product increase country economy achieve the great all these things are right okay all these things are right it can be a stakeholder requirement customer requirement we want to increase the business value one of the important thing that i like to add is that all projects whatever the reasons they may started they increase your business value they increase your business value business value consists of two things tangible and intangible what is tangible insurance of a customer vendor tangible is something that you can measure right that you can measure your salary is something that is tangible thing right everyone knows how much they are getting their salary or not even if you are getting over time but that is tangible measurable the document that reflect tangible are called as business case benefit to cost why you are doing that your management may say you what is the business case of that the second thing is intangible and the plan or document which look after it is benefit management plan intangible things can you guys give me example of intangible things in the chat box what are the intangible things non measurable brand recognition you see it may have yes somewhere here you can see a small logo on it a small logo which made this as pencil which i guess could, could get it in 10 dollars or 20 as a 200 or 300 dollars right why that brand recognition for example abdullah has a car background now this car may be bugatti abdullah is a bugatti i'm not a car fan so no whatsoever so that's a brand 
if somebody says that this is a bugatti car or it's a lamborghini everyone understand what does that mean it's an expensive one yes yeah, a bugatti yeah on target <laughs> so this is brand recognition ngos pro uh, ngos and governments projects mostly fall in intangible things okay so business value consists of marrying two things tangible and intangible thing tangible is a money and intangible is benefits okay so business value consists of two things both of these business case and benefit management plan they are collectively called as business documents business documents so far everyone is with me business case benefit management plan let's dive deep into the business case a uh, business documents okay bd is business document okay uh, guys if somebody ask a question and you know the answer just reply him in the chat box now so that you guys can have more interaction among yourself business case business case is very simple what are the cost of something and what are benefit of something it can be used as benefit on the upside cost downside same thing the purpose is that if something has more benefit monetarily we will do it if something has less benefit will not do it make sense to everybody right ben benefit to cost benefit to cost if something has more more benefits then yeah i was not sharing the screen at that time uh, are uh, madhya are you able to share see the screen now okay if something has more cost and less benefit will you do it will you do it it does not make sense to do that thing so we call that it does not justify the business case so if something has more cost and less benefit we will not do that project everyone agrees okay 9 out of 10 time this will be the case okay there are many ways we measure that money part in the project one is benefit to cost another is basically known as irr or let's first discuss that roi return on investment return on investment there are two project when what is bc uh, business case okay business case business case you can put it in bc okay so roi if you spend something let's say there is a plot you are spending a million dollar to in it and you are getting a return of 10% from that okay i'm a big fan of buying a property a house and getting a return from that put it on a rent there are two houses i'm i i have a million dollar i can buy one building with the million dollar i guess i can buy a building with a bill bd is business documents uh, there are two business documents what are two business documents put in the chat box business case and benefit management plan say it's a two document bd or business document business case and benefit management plan okay yeah acha ji return on investment i have two pots i i can spend that money to either building a in building a if i invest 1 million i'll get 10000 dollars in building b if i spend 1 million dollar i'll get 40000 back so where should i spend my money that is very clear to everyone right return on investment where how much return you are getting and where you are going to put your money okay a return on investment okay this is an important thing to look into that we'll come that remaining uh, business documents thing later on so in any project let's say 
any project, this is stage A, this is stage B. You want to move from stage A to stage B. This is business value. You want to increase your business value and of course it will take time. You do project from to move from stage A to stage B. For example, you may be earning $1,000 right now and you want to earn $1,500 per month. What project are you doing right now? The project name is PMP. Make sense? The PMP will increase your salary. That goes into business case. And it will give you a recognition that goes into benefit management plan. So in other words, it will increase your business value. Okay. And that is the purpose of doing PMP in the market. Okay. Now let's take about, talk about what is operations. We discussed project. What is operation guys? Can you tell me? Ongoing. Mohsin, if you got disconnected, this is for everyone. You will get the recording. You can look at it later on because it's not possible when somebody disconnected to repeat it. G, ongoing, ongoing production unit. Something that does not have a end date something that does not have a end date and you keep on doing that something that does not have a end date and you keep on repeating that that is operations okay there's a big difference between projects and operation okay there's a big difference between projects and operations okay Achha, so now let's see the entire view of the project. Now this is very important to understand. When the project was needed, we do need assessment. The project is needed. We make business case and benefit management plan. From business case and benefit management plan, we make the first official document of the project. The first official document is called project charter. Okay, this is where your project actually gets started. This is your project actually get started here. Project charter, okay, it, it is made as a first document in initiation. Then you have planning, you plan for the entire project. Then you execute, of course, you monitor the project and you close the project. Once the project is closed, it is transferred to the operations okay the project should be transferred to the operation this thing from initiation till the project is closed is called project life cycle project life cycle okay starts with the project charter project charter is a official document that starts the project project charter tells you okay now the project manager has authority now the project manager can start work which documents give the authority to the project project charter which documents formally authorize the project that project is started project charter okay now comes the important question who is making this document Business case, benefit management plan. Who is making it? These documents are made by sponsor. Whoever made it, that's another thing, but we say that it is made by sponsor. Sponsor is a part of your team, is not the client. Client is different, customer is different. Client customer is outside. Sponsor is your boss. He can be a program manager, somebody higher. He makes that and he is one person. He is not 10 persons. He is one person. Not organization. One person and he is sponsor. Okay. He made the project charter. Project manager can be the part of the team. There are two scenarios. First scenario, he is the part of the organization and you are doing the project. And he is participating in it. Second scenario, you hired him after the project charter. Both are okay, but he will not be authorized anything before the project charter. Now, 
my question to you is that can project manager change business case benefit management plan project charter is stakeholder the term it will come stakeholder will come we'll just be at a minute no these three documents cannot be changed if any of these documents change the entire project change okay one more time this is pre project before project this is the project life cycle this entire thing from need assessment okay from need assessment till operation this entire thing is called as product life cycle so product life cycle is actually project plus operation plus pre project activities okay so this is the entire thing and this is the entire pmp you need to start from here and make sure it is accepted by the client and is transferred to operation that is the entire pmp okay we will be playing in this game initiation planning execution monitoring and control and closing the entire project okay yeah we'll make a project charter sample in a while business case benefit and project a basic document changing yes changing it will change the entire project very well said changing it will change the entire project sakib sir the entire project is changed if any of these things are changed okay yeah now now this is a very important and critical thing the first step when a project charter is made it is given to project manager project manager share it to the key stakeholders okay he share it among the key stakeholders so that they can know what are their roles and responsibility and after that we make a assumption log what is assumption can somebody tell me what is assumption what is an assumption what is assumption assumption is considering something as a right or wrong it can be as a to predict something i we are not sure if we are sure it would be fact so pause for example one of the assumption when you paid me was that i will i will train you right that's an assumption na? unless proven it can be positive it can be negative how it going to be done pole both abdur rahman positive or supposition more uh, good word assumption log this can be or this cannot be for example one assumption log can be as big as we want it can have that the project manager will stay till the end of end of the project okay project team member will stay there we will get that resource at that time when we need it we will get that resource that's a very big assumption we do let's say we want a crane we say that that we can get it at that time it's kind of a assumption it comes under assumption log with the project charter we make assumption log okay and then the next thing is that we make a stakeholder register it will it is a document or a register which has list of all stakeholders a prioritized list i could say a prioritized list of all stakeholders okay these are the three things which happens in initiation what are the three things we make the project charter assumption log we identify the stakeholders and we will make stakeholder register we will dive deep into the stakeholder topic who develop the assumption everything sayed saab after the 
project after the project charter project manager does it okay project manager stakeholder is anybody who consider that he is affected by the project adam or he, or he is actually affected by the project everyone who think they are affected by the project or actually affected by the project a stakeholder okay everyone who think so we make a list of all the stakeholder then we prioritize them how to handle them how to handle them you are a stakeholder adam for me for this pmp training my team members are stakeholders i am in the sarcop office they are the stakeholder right now there is an office boy moving here and there he is a stakeholder uh, security guard is a stakeholder the manager of this office is a stakeholder everyone is a stakeholder we will go into the depth of stakeholders adam and when we go to the stakeholder topic okay for now if this is clear that is enough for now i am my plan in this next one hour is to give you an entire overview of pmp so that when we dive deep into it we can understand better initiation what are the three activities that we do in initiation put in the chat box three activities we do in initiation okay thank you that's good that's good that's very good okay then the next is there are five process group initiation planning execution monitoring and control and closing i just discuss initiation what happens in there as the name says planning in planning we will make plans how to do something how to do something how to we will not do anything the biggest plan we will make which is a combination of all plan all other plans are actually part of that plan is the project management plan interestingly pmp mother of all plans all it is a combination of 18 plans okay 18 plans in planning we'll make 18 plans and 33 documents don't worry don't worry so many plans and documents you don't need to memorize anything let me give you one time again you don't have to read any book you don't have to memorize anything understand okay is it clear to everyone okay just stay with me things are things will start coming okay thank you Uh, Sashi Kumar, you have a question. Okay, you raise the hand just to say. You can just say this. I am looking at your screens. I can look into that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Acha. So we'll make plans. The first plan we'll make is a stakeholder plan. How to how to engage stakeholders, right? How to engage stakeholders? A plan. Thirty three documents. Uh, Abdul Rahman, thirty-three. I wrote it. Thirty-three documents. Eighteen plan. Yeah, you don't have to worry about them. Right. We make a stakeholder plan. How to engage the stakeholder? Then we make a communication plan. How to communicate with those stakeholders? Then we made a resource plan, which is actually a team plan. How to ma manage them? And then all other bunch of plans. Plans, 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 plans. Like we will have a risk. how to handle risk plan uh we will have a quality we will have a procurement we will have a scope schedule cost plan 789 we will have a development plan etc etc we will make all the plans who will make the plans by the way pm pm will make the plans we will make all the plans and send it for approval who will approve the plan sponsor bingo now once the plans are approved if you want to change the plan 
not stakeholder shashi sponsor will approve the plan sponsor not more client was in sponsor guys most of you know the project management terminology here we need to use pmi hat you see this is my 10x hat okay so you need to wear just like this pmi hat when you are solving question pmi sponsor so we make all the plans now once the plans are approved at the end of the planning plan is approved all the plans are approved we start working on it okay in execution in planning we make the plans in execution we acquire the team the team members come we acquire them develop them manage them we do the work okay when we do the work issues can happen problem can occur okay things like that happens when I mean, we work actually in monitoring and control we do variance analysis we compare plan what you made plan you made the plan na? you compare your plan versus actual what do i mean by that you made a plan in the project management plan in planning in execution you compare versus like that plan is working or not if there is a change or a variance there you need to update the plan you raise a change request you raise a change request what do you mean by change request plan versus actual change request is a request that we want to change something make sense change request is a request that we want to change the plan clear everyone is with me right now we want to change a particular plan that is a change request okay we raise a change request who will approve the change request sponsor will approve the change request or we have a change board actually sponsor is a head of that board so normally 90% we say sponsor or change control board it's the same thing okay sponsor or change control board change control board is a board of senior people okay and uh, kind of uh, he is a head of it who raise a change request jan good question anyone can raise the change request anyone can raise the change request okay but normally we say project manager but anyone can raise the change request so when the once your deliverables once your work is completed once your work is completed we close the project this is called closing we just close the project release that thing so initiation planning execution monitoring and control and closing five process group we we'll discuss this thing where is that yeah this project life cycle right project life cycle initiation planning execution monitoring and control and closing how the project are conducted like sponsor yes uh, change control board is the ccb salman is a change control board is a board of senior management also called sometime as a governance board which we will discuss they govern the entire project mayor it and sponsor is the head of them okay sponsor is the head of them okay acha how not different like are guys all project same no all projects are different some projects have upfront fix requirement their requirement is fix and once the complete project is completed we provide the complete project to the customer example house bridge once the bridge is started it is okay then you give it the entire bridge okay it's not like okay half bridge is open as uh, usman sahab you can go on the half bridge no 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 the bridge has to be completed i don't want to fall it down from there right makes sense majid sir it makes sense na that the project is completed then we can start working into the project right so project gets completed and we work onto the complete project or sometimes 
some time like this learning course scope is fixed requirements are fixed but delivery is in parts some of the topics we will study today some tomorrow i don't think so you want to study all topics today you want it to be in parts movie series serials tv serials their scope is fixed okay but it is getting in the parts like money heist game of thrones they are coming in the parts some projects are different phases in the parts increments increments some projects are their scope is not fixed their scope is not fixed and we want it in parts so there are different type of projects so different type of project demands a different type of life cycles different type of life cycles there are two main life cycles predictive that is plan driven and agile which is also known as change driven but we also study two others just to differentiate but for exam two are most important predictive agile i am coming to that sashi i am going to explain those things four different types of life cycle let's see that okay let's see them so we are considering two parameters first when scope is either fix or it is variable second is delivery delivery is single or it is multiple delivery so if i put uh, x y 2 by 2 chart here i put delivery i have a single delivery here i have a multiple delivery here i put scope scope is fixed here scope is variable 2 by 2 matrix scope is fixed your scope is fixed okay your scope is fixed and you want a single delivery this is called predictive life cycle also known as plan driven traditional plan is fixed okay example is bridge okay you sure? now your scope is fixed but you want a delivery in parts this is called as incremental life cycle okay example e series e learning or tv series movies etc etc okay the third one is basically we say that scope your scope is basically it's not fixed it is varying your scope can change but when we give the delivery it is one go single go what is the example design designing or a prototyping design we show to the customer the customer says no change this change that change this change that we keep on changing keep on changing keep on changing but finally when we give it to the customer it is single delivery okay so it is called iterative life cycle example is design or prototype okay the last one is the combination of kind of both of them is called agile which we will be studying a lot agile is basically your things can change at any time and we want the delivery to be parts softwares are example of that how many of you have a mobile phone whose software is never updated anyone prototype is basically uh, something as a first time when you make for example i want to make this um, I, this is a new product i will show it i will make one of that md and show it to the client the client approved it okay one now i can make a million of it that's a prototype i hope that makes sense ji anyone whose phone is never updated whose mobile phone has never updated that's not possible they keep on giving it they keep on changing they keep on updating softwares keep on update that's agile change driven okay change driven normally normally the agile is normally used for software research and development predictive is used for construction project okay so 
all these three has something that is changing in them so all these three are basically called as change driven or adaptive because something is changing in them okay change driven or adaptive this is plan driven or predictive four life cycles most importantly predictive and adaptive no no it's a it's a, it's not a tool it's an example of that even if you called it as a tool still you are making the prototype as in a form using uh, iterative life cycle marine you are making a prototype using the life cycle i am coming to that but actually you are asking the question ji everyone is clear about predictive iterative incremental and agile i need 50 yes or no in the chat box 2 3 i am counting yes or no and projects can have multiple life cycles now i am going to come to the next and most interesting thing no single project is 100% predictive or 100% agile always it's a combination of both asking no single project and these combinations are called hybrid project hybrid project hybrid means combination of combination of predictive and agile we will only use predictive agile iterative incrementally just for understanding okay this is called hybrid life cycle a project can be 1% agile and 99% predictive or 50 50 does not matter it's hybrid for example in software projects we do procurement or hiring in a predictive way in construction project we make a design in an a in an iterative way so they are hybrid projects okay hybrid projects for you guys these are different life cycles that we make in our projects now agile is a very interesting thing and we will dive deep into after two hours into agile but understand this thing agile is a mindset it's a change driven anything can change in agile anything can change in agile that is the core concept behind agile So guys any question so far that you may have anybody Acha ji prototype i explained ankit prototype is basically let's say i want to make this thing i want to make a million of this pencils so before getting the approval for the customer i'll make one of it i'll show it to the customer and i'll get their approval okay the first time then you make it's a prototype it can be in the form of a design or a physical product okay ankit is it clear in the chat box ji shahzad sir mohammad shahzad so if uh, all the products is are uh, hybrid then why we are segregating the life cycles to understand them how to apply when to apply not all the projects are you see uh, in construction project we only make design in a agile way we only make a design but the entire construction the entire project will be in the predictive way same goes for oil and gas in oil and a gas drying will be made in that way but you cannot install the pipeline that your client is coming uh, that no now increase the pipeline by 1 km that is not possible okay so we 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 are using both tools to work into that way okay so it means the phases can be of uh, at multiple life cycles multiple life cycle phases can have different life cycles for sure okay yeah who will decide ankit whenever the question come who will decide apart from who will approve that is sponsor it's always the project manager he is the person who will decide he can take the input from the experts but he will decide agile apply to no agile is basically for the software industry or r and d industry okay it can be used anywhere 
okay but it's normally not in all the industries it's specifically because for a yes, or a software industry g anyone else okay now let's discuss the and different concept guys how many of you work in an organization where you only do project where you only do projects anyone shaheen work in a project only do those projects adil arun that is called as no i am asking only project ismail not project operation only projects this is called projectized organization the organization in which we only do projects nothing else project come you come go there like event management is a good example event come we hire bunch of people and that's it right the people when you got married or when you went somewhere uh, you use the services of some people you are not going to use that thing and especially not always a design company but okay for uh, understanding sake let's put it this this is called projectized organization that only works in projects clear to everyone projectized then there's a organization which only does operations operations operation textile milk cart company uh, things like that they are called functional organization banking can be something like that banking organizations okay they are called as functional organization okay functional organization so we have projectized and we have functional organization okay in projectized organization project manager has all the power when i say a power i mean power to control the resources power to decide how to work into that in functional organization we have functional manager who decides all those things okay projectized organization and functional organization okay yes uh, shashi kumar but what you are saying not clear projectile what projectized please... projectized mean organization which only do projects the project come that i understood sir the word i, I projectized 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 huh. okay okay clear i z e in the end you will get also get the slides yeah, everything yeah. is written in there projectized yes thank you everyone for writing it okay another weakness of mine i have studied all my life in english medium still pronunciation is very bad <laughs> okay functional organization only does functional but let's say there is a mill company or is a car manufacturer there is a functional organization it gets a project it happens right that organization in which both projects and functionals are happening they are called matrix organization uh shahzad for pmp call them functional manager not operational manager that's the local language but for pmp let's call as functional manager okay abdurrahman i'm coming to that okay product based company can be when a projectized so majority of the organizations let's say majority of the organization matlab it is coming to that majority of the organizations actually operate they have both projects and they have both operation so they are known as matrix organizations matrix organization they have project as well as operations right your organization have projects as well as well as this thing for example my organization this is project this six days is project but before that we were setting up ads we were setting campaigns there was sales call to you guys and once you complete that training you will come to operation where we will have every week three coaching calls so both things were there so it's a matrix organization matrix organization the matrix organization can be classified in three ways weak matrix balanced matrix such a functional organization we only do functions na 
is only operational thing like a milk company it's all producing daily things like that dairy products or things like that they are the functional organization okay g matrix organization are of three type weak matrix weak matrix strong matrix and balance matrix strong matrix balance matrix weak matrix in an organization where functional manager has more power and project manager has less power it is called it is weak matrix organization in which project manager has more power and functional manager has less power it is strong matrix okay in which project manager has more power it is strong matrix in which project manager has less power it is weak matrix industries are example of yeah okay normally in the question if the question does not says it's a strong matrix or it's a weak matrix the organization will always be balance matrix both project manager and functional manager are at the same level now let me give you example when the organization will be weak matrix and when the organization will be strong matrix let's say your organization is a milk organization there are daily di diary organization and your revenue is 10 million dollar and now you are doing a project that will double your revenue your ceos will give importance to the project now make sense it becomes a strong matrix strong matrix but if you are doing a project that may or may not impact the bottom line or the organization change it will be a weak matrix okay so weak matrix strong matrix and balance if they both are both have same kind of power so strong matrix weak matrix and balance matrix who has more power in strong matrix put in the chat box who has more power okay who has more power in the weak matrix functional manager who has more power in the balance matrix yes so when a problem occurs in a balance matrix first step is both of them talk to each other a project manager talk to functional manager try to convince him if he get convinced bingo if he does not get convinced then you escalate it to sponsor then you escalate it to sponsor okay if he does not accept it then you escalate it to sponsor okay then you need to escalate otherwise there is no need to escalation any organization that will have impact on both except what i did not said any sign except a conflict occur let's say to give you an example a conflict occur in your organization in the question the, it is not mentioned the question is like this you are working in an organization you are working in an organization a resource is leaving what will your what will we, you do what will you do i'll repeat the question you are working in an organization a resource is leaving what will you do go to the sponsor go to hr manager go to functional manager or talk to uh, maybe board of governor what will you do what will the first step no 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 we will never escalate we will you are the project manager asakip whenever we talk about it you are a project no that that's why vasik i said hr manager there is no hr manager it's a functional manager whenever a problem comes in a functional organization 
she said there was no change request option you will go to the functional manager always you will go to the functional manager okay you will go to functional manager if the question said that it's a weak matrix or a strong matrix will be different okay so we discussed projectized organization we discussed functional organization we discussed matrix strong weak balance no project manager is a project manager okay he is not a functional manager why sakib one minute yourself please i am unable to understand your question please brother sakib javed what are you asking ji sakib unmute yourself what is your question should resource manager is pm pm is pm functional manager is functional manager sakib unmute yourself brother i am unable to hear you if you have a question okay you can ask it later and then get okay my issue that's perfect so guys now these are the different type of organization how many of your organize how many of you have a head office in your organization do you head do you have a head office put in the chat box in the pmp those head office are called as a pmo project management office pmo okay project management office also known as pmo pmo the pmo can be supportive it can be controlling or it can be directive supportive controlling or directive what do i mean by supportive pmo supportive pmo will give all the authority to the project manager yes pmo is project management office supportive pmo will give you all the authority but it will also provide you tools templates trainings and things like that okay trainings things like that. you are you have the power you are making the decision that is supportive pmo controlling pmo controlling pmo will provide these things tool templates training plus it will also audit you how you are doing good bad it will audit you okay it will audit you controlling pmo directive pmo will do that this one plus this but it will also give you direction you are kind of a puppet of them do this you will daily get direction from them do this do that do this do that okay do this do that supportive pmo controlling pmo and directive pmo my question to you is that are you working in a supportive pmo controlling pmo or directive pmo put in the chat box all all that's a good answer pmo keeps on changing directive pmo is basically it is giving you direction you are daily get the report okay today uh, you have to do this task today you have to do this task okay you are getting direction from the entire thing you have to do this you have to do that supportive pmo tasks are fixed they are ordering you na to do that thing you are you have no freedom you have to report them daily way matlab that's kind of a uh, that pmo okay g supportive controlling and directive pm i mean you mean pm yes wasak you are learning to become project management professional na so p you mean pm project manager right nothing else can be apart from that acha ji guys does the project happen in a vacuum no the projects are impacted where the project is actually happening the projects are happening uh, is happened according to the culture of the organization the customs of the organizations the custom of the country and so many things in between culture customs all those things that are impacting the organization those thing happen na right culture customs things like this and that they impact the entire project they impact the entire project 
for example you cannot call me on whatsapp i was a student in china i cannot even call him on whatsapp or i i have to install wechat that's kind of the environment in which you are working in there are two kind of such environments two kinds of such environment one is ef enterprise environmental factors the factors that affect your organization the factor that affect your organization enterprise environmental factors in which your organization is work enterprise environmental factors what are those factors those factors can be political impacts on them political factors economical factors what are the economical dynamics there social technological legal environmental for example in dubai right now it's extreme summer you walk for 2 minutes you walk for 2 minutes you are all wet so maybe different type of projects can be is needed here right different projects can be needed here not all the projects can be looked into that so what are the political factors let's say if your country is suffering from political dynamics or political things will it impact the your project or not will it impact your project yes or no for example why uae or dubai is becoming the center of the world because the, there is a political stability here is a political stability here okay stable political economy how stable the economy of the organization is how stable the economy of your country is social culture need to look into that what are the technological things available what are the legal laws for example in singapore it is very easy to open a company easier than dubai like it is said if you go in morning by evening you even have a bank account which is a pain here in dubai so every so every organization have a different thing but interestingly dubai have no tax singapore has tax so you need to look into that and then environment what kind of environment you are working into it for example if you are a person who like winter you is not a place to come we say that in dubai we have two type of weather hot and very hot so that that may not be a place to come for a person who cannot bear heat okay political economical social technical legal environmental all these are enterprise environmental factor it can be the pmis the organization use project management information system which information system i can use i cannot use whatsapp here for calling but i can use whatsapp here for messaging If I am in China, I cannot even use it for messaging. I cannot use Skype here for calling, but I can use Zoom here. It is both internal and external of the organization. Then, employee capabilities. The employees available in UAE. The employee data available there. EEF things like that. Political, economical. So, uh pmis is not just social media ankit it is also basically your organization what your organization is using this is not social media zoom zoom is not social media how your organization uh, look into that okay here we can one of them ef enterprise environmental fact normally these enterprise environmental factor are out of the control of project manager project manager cannot do about anything about him he has to play in between them okay he has to play in between them then second thing is about organization that you are working in okay second thing is about the organization you are working there organizational process assets opas organizational process assets the policies of the organizations which policies your organizations have procedures which type of procedures your organizations have tools 
which type of tools your organization has and templates plus what is your organization database your lesson learned repository you see i said that i have thousands of pmp in last 3 years i have 300 pmp in last uh, uh, in this 6 month now i have that database of lesson learned na which topics are important which topics are not important how those topics can be that so all these are part of organizational process assets opas organizational process assets opas so we studied a lot things in the last one hour we studied what is opa what is ef we studied what is project operation business case benefit management plan project charter five process groups and so many other things we have studied into that one last thing then i will give you an exercise to make mind map i'll send you into the breakout room and will ask you to make mind maps okay. organizational processes you see project does not happen just apart from the organization every organization have a organizational strategy what they want to achieve lesson learn register uh, ankit wait i haven't explained what is lesson learn register i'll explain it later okay organizational strategy every organization have organizational strategy okay they have their strategy how we are going to do that thing that strategy may be to increase a million dollars things like that to portfolio portfolio make decisions how we are going to implement that strategy we have program and projects that deliver value and that value is finally transferred to operations organization have a strategy the strategy can be to like for example my organizational strategy is one of the strategy is to get 750 certified pmp in this year okay 750 pmp for that organizational strategy i do projects programs i do multiple uh, one to one sessions i do this all those things so that i can get 750 pmp okay so that strategy is being translated and converted by operations this thing is called as organizational project management framework what is opm organizational project management framework opm organizational project management framework opm okay organizational project management framework acha we discuss project was a temporary endeavor what is program program is a combination of related projects projects like let's say i'm doing a construction project okay opm opm is the entire environment under which the everything is happening not just the project not just the project marine the entire thing that is happening program is a collection of related projects my question to you is that is a project is a program temporary or permanent is a program temporary or permanent all programs are temporary because they are nothing but the collection of the projects if projects are temporary so programs are also temporary right they can be big but they are also temporary portfolio is a combination of projects program and operations projects program and operation is portfolio temporary or permanent 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 because of operation portfolio is permanent okay so guys we will after this we'll look at the slides and there are so many things in the slides we will go through that from the business environment anyone has any question from what we have studied so far
anyone has any question of what we studied so far any organization can become weak matrix strong or balanced it depends i smell on the importance of the project if your project is more important then your organization can become a strong matrix if your project is uh, less important it becomes as a weak matrix and if they are if they are okay then balance pmis is project management information system project management information system is the communication tools you use in the organization okay madhya and basic uh, it's a tool that you use for example whatsapp other tools like that portfolio is a combination of project program sakib and operation okay organizational project management framework starts from organizational strategy sponsor to portfolio program and project and that get transferred into operations there is no document to to doc, uh, show in that this organization is matrix or not you can put in the project charter maybe because it's a high level thing you can put in the project charter opm is organizational project management framework ji ji shahzad sir can you revise the slide of uh, opm opm is organizational project management framework okay organizational project management framework it looks at the what is the organizational strategy what does the organizational want to achieve okay they decide on the strategy that okay maybe we want to achieve 1 million dollar or 1 million youtube subscriber whatever is your revenue your thing you transform it to portfolio portfolio make decisions okay we are going to do this thing that is transferred to project and program which actually does the work that work is transferred to operation and then we measured are we do, are we on the track or not for example my goal is to get 750 pmp in this year right now it's 16th of june i have 300 pmp interestingly okay so am i on the right track or not or i should i do more projects or program that is the way to look into it okay it will be kind of uh, repetitive of course of course because operation is there na no? operation is there yeah okay guys how many of you can make the mind map i'm going to send you the breakout room and i want you to make the mind map of what we have studied till now i ask many guys to make the mind map how many of you can make the mind map put in the chat box adil one adil and then md no uh, matlab can you make the mind map i can okay adil one group satish you can make satish you can make the mind map right md you can make the mind map ankit you can make the mind map okay I, for now i'll make four group then i'll make shayad abbas basic can no 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 try let's do it okay i'm going to make five breakout rooms for you guys okay. i want to make sure that everyone is at least one people basic shayad abbas adil khan okay ashwarya can't you make the mind map Okay. Okay, guys. I have opened the breakout room. There are five breakout room. If you don't know how to make the mind map, figure it out. Okay. The breakout room is open. You have eight minutes to some make a uh, mind map of what we have studied so far. Yes, Miru. dot com. Please go to the breakout room. Please join the breakout room. I have opened the breakout rooms. You have eight minutes. Recording stopped. So everyone who is watching at LinkedIn, thank you very much for joining uh, this session. Uh, uh, the preview of that. If you want to join my complete program, uh, you can message me or WhatsApp me. 
and i will be more than happy to help you and with that see you in more program and would love to help you to become certified pmp thank you very much bye bye adnan bin chetan din jigar ji ko ajit samaj jarat anu akil mohammad faisal jay prakash mohsin mufti priti priya ajit tushar ubay ji ko sir wasim sir irfan sayed vishnu kam mohammad vandana well kumar ali ali raza edwin chandra mohan imran sir arfad deepak adnan ajay batu ibrahim murli rizwan sachin sujit pompne riya sayed faisal harun khan vinay javed sanger प्रदीप प्रेम अभिषेक आमिर कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन मोहम्मद सही